Hi, this is Bishop Doherty of the Diocese of Lafayette in Indiana. A lot of church teaching and a lot of our politics is very often wound up in our society in what we call a pluralistic society where not everybody speaks the same language. So when we say we're pluralistic, that is a plural society, people have different starting places as to what they think is important, what their relationship to the government is, whether religion should play a part or not. and. And a lot of people come from different countries and live here and bring their own traditions, their own understanding of government. So we have plural understandings of who we think we are as Americans and as American Catholics. So let me just point out some of the places that make us plural. Um, perhaps the largest area is where people believe uh, in autonomy over community. There are people who believe that they are a law unto themselves. And we hear that phrase, I want to follow my own truth. There are 330 other people living in this country, 330 million other people living here, but people want to believe in their own truth. Well, I hope they all drive on the right side of the road. So autonomy and community are in tension. Another pluralistic tension is what people believe are their rights. And do I have a right because I'm a human being? Do I have a right because I say I have a right? Did the government give it to me? Is there a theological tradition that said what my rights and my obligations are? Um, this is another thing in our country. We have a lot of people who speak about rights, but in the Catholic Church, whenever you read any of our documents, the word responsibility follows the word rights. Usually if it's not three words later, it's in the next sentence. So you don't ever have a right without a responsibility. And and this is a big tension in our country, and we need to be aware of it as we listen to people and then speak our own point of view. Um, also, we have different understandings of our country as a democracy or as a republic. A representative government as a republic is a different bear than a democracy. So um, very often people are, uh, without understanding this, figure if I can just get a crowd of people to get out on the street and shout somebody else down, then I win. Um, but that's not quite the dynamic of where we're living. But we're seeing that more and more in various countries. I don't want to say the United States, but um, we, we see these things. Uh, and, and finally, what qualifies as religion? I remember a couple of years ago in Indiana, somebody wanted to found the Church of Marijuana so they could be tax exempt and so forth. Well, how do you decide what's a religion? There's also a tension over this. I hope I'm not giving any of you any ideas here, but uh, these are, we live in a society where people come from different places, different mindsets. We need to be aware of them so we listen better, um, so we can be polite but assertive in our own positions. So I hope this helps a little bit. We live in a pluralistic society. Um, it isn't where everybody in the country takes on the religion of the king as it used to be in the old days. So I hope this is enlightening for some of us um, and explains some of the tensions that we experience and we need to name the sources of those tensions in order to function better as citizens. Thank you.